Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Dollar Tree Gold. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. So if you'd like to see what products I'm going to be using, some of them are new to me, um, all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. So I hope you guys are doing well. I even got a mirror. I know, who am I? Um, so I... I'm super excited to do this full face. I haven't done it in a while. Um, I am going to go ahead and prime my eyes first. I'm going to be using the Candy Moyo Longwear Light Beige Concealer. So um, I tried not to grab anything that was like name brand, except for one thing, and it's my face powder. But anyway, but definitely feel like they've been doing better with um, getting more makeup in my personal one anyway. So this is a clicker upper. There we go. So it's got that little sponge tip. So. Doesn't have a scent to it at all. Would definitely say this is light coverage so far. We'll definitely try it underneath the eyes and let it sit for a minute. Sometimes that will help concealers too. As it dries down, it will kind of help to increase the coverage, but. I'm going to be going in with the Beauty Intuition Peachy Nudes palette. Um, I tried a pink one, um, so when I saw that they had a new shade, I'm like, okay, I gotta try this one. Okay. It looks really pretty. Looks like there's only a few shimmers. Two shimmers. The rest are matte. Really hard to mess up a shimmer so it's the match you have to kind of look at okay I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here we're just gonna pick some up they do have makeup brushes at Dollar Tree um, I do have some but I didn't want to just they do that's pretty, very pigmented. If I'm remembering correctly, they did the pink one was pretty nice too. So So this is the darkest shade in the palette. So you need something darker, you're gonna have to dip into a, dip, a different palette. I'm gonna go into this shade, it's very peachy. I think it will look nice as a kind of a transition. I like this palette. It's pigmented, smooth, easy to use. No fallout, which is great. So yeah, if you find the Beauty Intuitions Peachy Nudes, if you like kind of a warmer look, I would definitely recommend this, so very nice. Um, I'm gonna be using the LA Colors Brow Pencil. This is in medium. It does have a spoolie. I know I've used this in the past. Brow pencil's not bad at all. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline uh, 
eye, eyebrow and eyeliner and the red, it's a red pencil. So not bad at all. I would totally be okay with repurchasing this. Very nice. Okay, here comes the somewhat scary part. And you know it's foundation. Um, this is the um, LA Colors True, I'm oh, sorry, liquid makeup. So complete coverage, mess free pump. You get almost a half an ounce. I got it in True Beige. Dollar Tree Foundation, that's their weakest point. But we'll try it. <laughs> no scent. I believe it gets more of a light medium coverage, but it doesn't look bad so far. Definitely more of a natural finish. A little bit glowy, but nothing out of control. You can definitely see it doesn't cover some discoloration and stuff, but it doesn't look bad at all, so. Blend it easily. They definitely need to step up their color range, but hopefully they get to that point because it'd be nice if like affordable makeup was a little bit more inclusive, but a little bit tacky, but I don't think it looks bad at all. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the concealer again. Once again, this is the Candy Moyo Multi-Use Concealer, so. We're gonna let it sit for a minute. And I'm just gonna hit some discoloration. I'm not gonna conceal the dark spots because this is lighter. And if I do that, it's going to highlight the discoloration instead of really covering it. So, but you could definitely conceal before you do foundation and that will kind of help a little bit. We've got a cream blush stick, which I'm excited for. It's lip and cheek, but I'm gonna go ahead and just let this sit for a minute. The powder I'm gonna be using is the Wet n Wild Their Focus. Um, I did have, I think it was Be Pure. I think it was Be Pure that I did have a powder from them, but I went ahead and I decluttered that when we moved, I guess, because I didn't remember decluttering it, but. Okay, so letting it sit definitely helped coverage-wise. You don't have to let it sit for a long time. Some will start drying down and then you're kind of screwed. You can't blend it out, so. But, a little bit dewy. a little bit tacky but I don't want to over powder but I think the complexion looks pretty good actually um, I do like to go in with my cream and stuff after I powder just because I do have combo skin but this is the Ioni um, blush cream stick cheek and lip color blendable natural skin like flush lightweight and it's in cinnamon rose and once again this stuff is cruelty free so but this is in the shade the boss and it's a cinnamon rose color and once again that packaging I only kills it with the packaging so looks so. pretty 
No scent. Mistake? Possibly. Okay, blending out beautifully. It's pigmented, but I definitely think it's buildable. It's not lifting up the foundation underneath, which is nice. A little bit across the nose, because why not? I really like the shade, really like the color. I do have a, other lipstick, but I want to try it on my lips. Very pretty. Um, does come with a little clear cap, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on so that way it doesn't dry out. This kind of remind me of the e.l.f. multi-use sticks that kind of look like this. Very pretty though. Okay, so I did pick up a highlighter and a bronzer. Um, these are from LA Colors. This is Shimmer Bronzer and Sun Goddess. I've had these in the past, they are great. So, and remember, LA Colors is cruelty free. So, if you are someone that is needing to use that, which I am trying to transition to that, then there is options at Dollar Tree. So, and what's nice is that it actually has the name on the back of the packaging. A little bit more cool tone, which I do like. There is some shimmer in this, but it's not like crazy. Nicely pigmented. Not too much shimmer at all. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, so um, I do have other highlighters at Dollar Tree, so Ioni makes a really good one. Anyway, really, really pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the LA Colors one. Um, yeah, highlighter, I got it in Shine Bright. Oof. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've used one of these. Oh, so pretty. I'm so glad I have this back in my collection. I forgot how good they were. I know we're not highlighting like it's 2016 anymore, but you know me. Definitely a little bit goes a long way, so if you do not like an intense highlighter, Definitely recommend going in with a small amount, but that's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in and take that brush that I blended out the blush with. I'm just gonna tap over that just to maybe blend it a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some and put it on my inner corner. Look at that. Can't tell me this looks like a Dollar Tree highlighter really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Definitely staining, but that's, that's okay. Okay, something else that is real bad at Dollar Tree is mascaras. Um, I did pick up the new LA Colors Big Lash Full Effect Brush, um, lengthens lashes, got it in Beyond Black. So we'll see. They have different kinds, but I went ahead and went with the full. Do not have high hopes for this, but it looks like it's actually full size, which is nice. 
just kind of your basic brush. It smells like cheap mascara, which I personally love the smell of cheap mascara. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat on the other eye. I think my lashes just might be worse on this side. Okay, it's not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, one of the better mascaras, probably the best mascara I've ever used, so. Okay, I hope this shade is okay. I got the Ioni Shea Butter Lipstick. Um, hydrates, nourishes, moisturizes, buildable color. I got it in Red Lily, but it's heart-shaped. So I, I think it's heart-shaped. Anyway, it looks pretty. Yes, it is heart-shaped. Um, you know how I feel about Ioni lashes, so. I am glad that they're coming out with more makeup. Doesn't have a scent. Let's see how much you get. Okay, not bad. Definitely say that's probably pretty average when it comes to lipsticks, but yeah, it's heart shaped. Let's try it. It's more of like a watermelon color, which isn't bad, don't get me wrong, it's pretty bright. I'm gonna go ahead and blot it, but it feels very, very smooth. Okay, um, honestly I'm pretty surprised. I think the makeup looks really, really nice actually. Um, I don't think it looks like Dollar Tree makeup, honestly. Definitely feel like LA Colors has definitely stepped up their foundation and their mascara. Um, I think the base looks pretty nice. It is definitely a light to medium coverage, which is fine. Definitely a little bit glowy. Um, the concealer, really, really nice, actually. Once again, lighter coverage, but that's totally fine. The bronzer and the highlighter, amazing um definitely recommend that if you've never tried the la colors um the, the highlighter and bronzer that looks like this in this packaging they do have a pretty wide array of shades as well um i really like the ioni blush cream stick um i do have uh in another shade it's like pink but i think it's really really pretty the eyebrow pencil was fine um the um eyeshadow palette great I think it's actually really, really pretty. Um, I really actually have no complaints. Uh, probably my least favorite product, honestly, is probably the Ioni Shea Butter Lipstick, and it's just because it's the shade. But it's smooth, it doesn't sink into lip lines. So really no complaints. I think it actually looks quite nice. And like I said, I definitely think uh, Dollar Tree has stepped up their makeup game. So really, really pretty, but Anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, maybe with school starting soon, maybe you're starting a new job, maybe you just need some new products in your makeup collection. I would definitely recommend going to Dollar Tree. Of course, they're not gonna have a wide variety of um, foundations, but you can get pretty cheap foundations out there. Um, ones from like Rimmel, uh, Wet n Wild, stuff like that. It's not gonna break the bank, um, but I, I like everything that I use today. I think it looks really, really nice, um, but definitely Dollar Tree Gold for all the products that I did use. If you like this kind of color, it's gonna be great for you. Um, but yeah, 
Um, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments if you have a write and die makeup product that is from Dollar Tree. Let us know down below and make sure that you do subscribe. I do upload seven days a week all about budget stuff. So I do budget beauty. Obviously, um, I do vlogs, grocery hauls, recipes, home care, but all of it's on a budget. So if that sounds interesting, then please subscribe. And I really do appreciate you stopping by and watching today's video. Another video should start auto playing here in a moment if you do have it turned on. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see you all here in just a second.